Hey my loves, this is your girl Love Diva and welcome to my channel. Ow, I just bit my tongue. <laughs> My 2015 was a year that, <sighs> let's see how I can put this, broke up. My whole 2015 was broke up, I kid you not. Now let me explain to you why, because before my battery goes dead. I, <laughs> this battery boy, I swear, I need to get a new one. Um... Back in January 2015, January 5th to be exact, I was cleaning my house. I have a townhouse which is upstairs and downstairs, fully carpet, not sure why, but the house is fully carpet, even a dining room. Ugh. But anyway, I was renting this spot. So anyway, I'm up and down cleaning. It was a month after my birthday, a couple of weeks after my birthday actually. And... I'm going up and down the stairs. I was cleaning and I slipped down three steps. I thought I was fine, but I stood up. I guess my ankle said, oh heck, you know. I had on no shoes. I think I had on socks. I don't even remember if I had on socks, but I had on no shoes. And I went to stand up and my ankle said, you yeah, know, boo-boo. And I fell back down. When I fell back down, that's when all the major damage happened. I fell back on my knee. I fell down on my knee, which dislocated and fractured my knee. At the same time, my ankle was a hairline fracture. I was sitting there calling around trying to get somebody to come help me. My knee was swelling up like somebody stuck a tennis ball in it. My daughter comes in. Mom, your patella is swollen. My who? Like what? My your patella is swollen. Okay, so we called nine one one. Paramedics came. He says, "Oh, that don't look good." You think? Really? It's like you do do, do look like I wanted to hear that. Anyway, they put blood pressure thing on, checking the foot, see if this right, and they put X on the foot and ankle and blah blah blah. My knee. I'm like, why are you drawing on me? Like for real. But anyway, my blood pressure was up 276 over 117, and that's stroke level for some people. But he called it in. They rushed me to the hospital. They put this EKG stuff on because I suffer with heart disease as well. But that's another story at hand. Um, they put the heart monitor on. They put me in the para I mean, the am you know, the, the the truck, bus, whatever you call it, the ambulance. They put me in there. We got to the hospital. Mind you, I'm in Georgia. Some of the hospitals are slow here. But anyway, I get there. We in the triage, meaning the emergency. Like, emergency room. Not the side where you got the emergency people, but the emergency triage room. Because my blood pressure was up. And we get in there. Oh, just the lady at behind the desk. Oh, just put her to the side where you get her in a minute. Then the paramedic, he was like, no, 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 no. I, this is the patient we called in about stroke level blood pressure. But he said it in medical terms. And she was saying something. And I think my pain level then took my attitude level to a whole new level. So I'm just mouthing off with her and whatever. So some doctor come from behind. Is everything okay? No. You know, and we explaining. The paramedics explaining to this doctor. And he was like, he ran to the back and came back and put this pill up under my tongue. Because you know when they say stroke level, that means what? Okay, that means I could be having a heart attack or a stroke in the next split second. So, we get that done. Mind you, I get there at 10, 30, 11 ish They put me, they did all the x-ray. No, they didn't do the x-ray. They put me in the waiting room. They did the vital signs and all that great stuff. Hmm. I'm sitting, and I'm sitting. I'm calling around for my rides. So, when I'm finished, I'm going to leave. So, mind you, I said 11, 10, 30, 11 ish. Now, by the time the doctor called me to do the x ray, it was almost 2, 3 ish. Mm -mm. Who does that? I'm in pain. No pain medicine, no nothing. I'm sitting in this waiting room now on the emergency room side. Okay, fine. 
we get to the part where they asking me all the information, your insurance, your blah, 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 your X, Y, and Z. Uh, honey, I'm in pain. How about asking for some pain medicine? Well, you know, we got to take this blah, blah, blah. Honey, I don't feel like, it's like you're in pain. Who wants to talk or speak? Like, seriously. So we went through all that, whatever. Finally get back to the waiting room after the initial interview on how much money you're making. <laughs> so... They finally called my name to do an x-ray. It's 10 minutes to 4. Did the x-ray. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Finally gave me the pain medicine. My ride shows up. The pain medicine wore off within 10 minutes. They put this big old thing on my leg. Got home. Well, I had to stay in the bed literally from January until I was able to get out the bed and walk. Mind you, I have on this long thing. I'm going to show you a picture. on my leg. It's hard to get around. So it took me about nine months to heal, to get back on my feet, blah, blah, blah. Then went to physical therapy. They trained me to get back in heels. Reason they trained me back in heels, people. Don't get smart. It's because my feet are not made for flat shoes. I don't even wear flat shoes. I haven't worn flat shoes since probably 15, 16. But anyway, I trained to get back in heels. Cool, fine, Danny. This is going on October. I'm able to walk around, do me, whatever. invited to an event to a fashion show one of my favorite things wait for it I get out of the car now I said again I live in Georgia the roads and the streets and all of that is cracked the hell up oops excuse me it's cracked up so I get out the car with a bunch of rocks and stuff where you got ballet parking. Get across the street. Go to step on the pavement. I twist my ankle. Now this is in November. Now, I'm healing from the January thing. This is November 2015. I'm thinking I'm fine, so I'm walking. We, you know, doing our thing, got into the thing, got upstairs, got into the Event, I'm sitting down, my foot is throbbing. I put ice on it, you know, blah, blah. Reason why I twist my ankle, because the, the brick on the sidewalk shifted. So when that shifted, so did my foot. So, that's how I twisted what I thought was a twist. Got through the event. Went home. Took my shoes off, took my clothes off halfway, because I couldn't really do much. And... The next day I went to get up to go pee, well like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I get up to go pee, I could not feel my foot or my leg. We get to this hospital. This hospital was quick though. We get to the hospital. The doctor looked at it. He says, do you know your, your ankle's broke? No, you think? <laughs> So they did the x-ray and all that stuff there. It was broken two different spots. I'll show you the picture. And I wanted to scream because here it is again. I'm off my feet for six to eight weeks. Here it is January 2016. It's been a year since I broke my leg. And my ankle. Now it's been eight to nine weeks since I broke, rebroke the same foot. And I'm sitting here now with this thing on. Yes, this is the second brace. I had a cast on earlier. I'll show you a picture. So, 
my topic of the story, <clears throat> the moral of the story is my 2015 reflection, reflecting back on 2015, it was broke up. So for me to answer those questions going up, it was nothing cheerful about that year, except I was living and wasn't as worse as it could have been. But come on, I am a go-getter. I'm a busybody. I love hills. I like to get up and go. I like to do stuff. I own a business. I have to go. I was depressed because I couldn't, I had to sit still. I wasn't depressed for anything else. I was depressed, which people still don't see it because I'm always a happy-go-lucky person. I laugh at my pain, but in all reality, I was depressed because I was limited to doing stuff. I was unable to get around. I couldn't walk around. I had to sit still and had to have people rely on people, which I didn't. They did things. I'm grateful. I'm blessed. And I seriously want to thank everybody that was there for me. 